What's up, everybody? And welcome to the other side of the firewall, where we highlight those uh, movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who have made it to the other side of the perver proverbial firewall. I can't talk today. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name is Ryan Williams, uh, and today I'm joined, as always, by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? And LeVon Maynard. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So this is, this is my favorite episode of the... Uh, the, the podcast every week um obviously the format has changed so this would really just be one podcast but we we broken into segments right so in this one we will uh combine both uh what we've been doing all week as well as what we've been playing or watching or you know just uh consuming in general that's what we what we're going for here so doing things a little bit different but we have just a whole segment of just that so uh, i'm down for it so with that being said how was your uh, your week? My week's been uh, pretty ro routine. I haven't done too much in the last week here. Just been uh, taking care of the house, taking care of the wife and the, and the dog. Uh, playing some games here and there, watching some shows. Uh, just kind of kicking back. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything like super hot, anything worthy of discussing that I that I did this week, but. Um, you know, I'm thankful, thankful that I still got a job. Thankful that I'm still, still uh, healthy. Same with the family, family and friends. Everybody's doing good. Um, also, we got the virus. Uh, you know, COVID nineteen is still a big thing right now, but we see we see that the vaccines getting uh, distributed. It looks like they're uh, the current administration is doing pretty well with uh, distributing the virus, uh, the vaccine uh, for the virus, and hopefully, uh, you know, come summertime we get some get out on the beach or you know get out with with folks hanging out together. Uh, enjoying some of the holidays and um, you know get some of the folks back out here and celebrate. But how about you guys? How you guys been doing? So I know for me, I'm, I'm gonna give you one. I, I started back up on the studying this week. Uh oh, hey, uh -oh there it is. Up. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, after, after going those few weeks and whatnot, getting back into it, I felt so dumb. I was like, wait a minute, I know I know this. Like, what is? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. But but no, I started back up on the studying this week. Um, didn't really do too much uh tv watching or anything like that like there's a couple episodes and stuff i started watching a uh it's a new tv show it got queen latifah the equalizer so like you know equalizer had like Denzel yeah. been in the movies yeah. and whatnot. i started watching the tv show watched a couple episodes of that that was okay um uh, i know for here so like I'm, I'm i'm out here in colorado like i don't know if you guys have seen like we're supposed to get this snowpocalypse you know what i mean like it was just <laughs> Like at the beginning of the week, it was like the worst of the worst. Like I saw an article, I read an article where it said Colorado is going to get five feet. You know what I mean? And people are reaching out to me like, y'all going to get five feet? I was like, no, it's just Colorado. Like we have mountains here that are probably going to see five feet. Like in the city, right. I'm not going to get five feet of snow. Like it's not going to happen. But like as the week right. went on, you know, the predictions got a little bit more tame, right? You know what I mean? Like the beginning of the week, like it was supposed to be 22 inches, you know, in Colorado Springs. And now we're down to like 11. Right. And I say down to like 11. Right. But it was remember, it was five feet at one point. Right. It was five feet. And then it was 22 inches and then it's 11 inches. So it didn't start. It didn't even really start snowing until a, a little bit before we, we, we started airing on these podcasts. So I'm like, man, I don't I don't I don't. And here's the thing. I don't want to come down on meteorologists. Right. Because you got to remember, unless they say zero percent or 100 percent, that's the only certainties they have. Right. <laughs> but if they say. 10% chance, that means there's a 90% chance it won't happen, right? So, right. but it's like, man, I, I, I do kind of feel bad for him, especially here in Colorado, because the weather is wacky, boy. Like, it's crazy, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? So, but other than that, uh, nothing much. Like like you, LeVon, it's Groundhog's Day, right? Like, mm -hmm. do the work, you know what I mean? And then spend time with the family a little bit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, nothing, nothing real big to talk about on my end. No, that's what's up. So, uh, with the uh, the CIS P's, what you're studying for, uh, in case we got we got some new people, um, with the CIS P. So, are you is your plan like I hate to put you on the spot? Was your plan to take it before it changes? Because that's, that's like May, right? Yes, May is when it changes. So my date is set for April. After I got back in it this week, I was like, man, I might want to delay it a week or two or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> As I started up again, I was like, oh my gosh, like, but um. But yeah, May is is when it's going to change, and I want to do it before that. But here's the thing: like, so even I mean, my hope is to pass it the first time. I'm not going to sit here and say it's absolutely going to happen, but you want to will it into will it into existence, right? But if it doesn't, uh, my hope is that 
because here's the thing i'm probably not going to go through and do the boot camp again after may right because i don't envision the material will change that much to where it'll be something that could just do me in like i don't imagine it's going to change and i'm not saying this for any test compromise or anything because i don't know for sure but i don't imagine it would change more than maybe five ten percent you know what i mean so there there is a stat uh I, I meant to bring it with me today. I think it's like 15 or something like that. It's so, going to change 15%? Wow. Okay. Not, but not <laughs> not the entire test, though. Like one of the domains or something like that. Like I'll, I'll bring it with me next time. Like I'll shoot it to you ASAP. But uh, yeah. I'll make sure I bring the stats next time. There, there are some changes. So there's something interesting to talk about. But it's yeah. like minor. Like the the my, the videos I've watched, it's not that it's not that uh, extensive. Right. Uh, enough, enough to where, let's, you know what I mean? Like you will have to study that area a little bit more but not 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 sweeping changes right right that, and that's, that's my good hope. that's my hope yeah yeah, yeah man I, I passed it my first time psych <laughs> <laughs> that's right well, I, I wasn't gonna say anything psych. i wasn't gonna say anything i was like oh. <laughs> you see coming to america too you see coming to america too i i did i did see that there's a, there's a reference in there he was like yeah i did it my first time he was like your 11th time <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah yeah that, that test it, again that's the hardest test i've ever taken ever so uh that's the only reason that i well not the only reason i keep up with the uh the, the c c e u's okay because i get it confused pmp is like pdus or whatever Continuing um, education units yeah yeah that's the only reason i keep up with them is because i never want to take that test again ever i don't even want there yeah. to be a chance of me taking that test again so i, I will always be ready <laughs> <laughs> just stay ready so damn hard yeah uh, so my, my week was not as, um, crazy. Like, uh, I did that 5k this morning and then I immediately negated all of it with a brunch where I, I had, I had two courses. <laughs> so I put all them calories back in me plus some more, uh, but I did not study. And here's the reason why <laughs> I have an excuse. Mm. I'm trying to figure out if while I'm studying and performing the labs, because remember I, got, I had to get a laptop to, because my, my previous laptop just couldn't handle, the like, lab was even that that extensive. It just, it had no more to give. Um, can I share my screen and record episodes based upon uh, going through the lab environment? Because I paid for the lab. Mm-hmm. But can I share that lab in a training type scenario? That is the question. I Googled it. Google spit out nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Google did not help me. Gave you nothing. Can I talk? You know, like, like, cause I'm not, I'm not going to be charging to teach you, but can I, can I share my experience with the lab with you? You can, right. you can probably, you can probably share your experience with the lab, but I don't know if you can screen share the lab itself. Right. Because that's so the, right. company, that, the company that provided it to you, SANS, right? It's SANS. Yes. Yeah, it's SANS. Yep. Yeah. So SANS, is saying okay, you paid to receive this from us, but you oh, can't right. go out there. You can't go out there and be like, okay, provide this to everyone else. Now, even though you're not acting as an instruction instructor per se, and and mm-hmm. saying, hey, this is what you need to do, like you can't show their materials. Like I'm, I'm got you. Sure. And got and you. actually, what'll probably happen is that if you try to screen share it, you might get uh, you you might not be able to do it. Like uh, copyright. Probably, uh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. You, you could try it, and then they'll be like, nope. Like you can't copy or screenshot a page or or screen share or anything like that. It'll probably stop mm-hmm. you anyway. I'm guessing. Gotcha. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna do a little bit more investigation, but obviously, uh, I'll, I'll stay within uh, whatever the, my left to right limits are. But I, I think it'll be kind of cool just to, to share my experience going through it, uh, and hopefully crush the test at the end. The, the mm-hmm. goal it's always the goal <laughs> that's right um but yeah so that kind of delayed me a little bit like uh, i was playing around with this laptop getting everything like we had a conversation where i was talking to you and i touched the, the screen I, re- I, I learned that it was a touch screen for the first time mm. and i was like why is this a touch screen but that explains why it costs a little bit more than i expected plus did you know the laptop market went up so i thought that they were trying to get me on price and then i started tracking other prices Almost all laptops have gone up in, in in value because of COVID and all the uh, working from home, going to school from home. Working. Yeah, I, I I believe that. Yeah, I, I looked up my wife's laptop, which is better than my laptop. I looked it up, and it actually went up 125 bucks. So I was like, ah, well, I can't complain anymore. Like either I'm gonna buy it or I'm not gonna buy it. Right. 
So it, it 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 could it could also be it may not also well I know it is for demand right because everybody's out there doing that but it could be like a uh, production for like materials that are inside right of it. exactly yeah. like Levon said the chips yeah mm-hmm. yep. the chips yeah. are hard to come by as well yeah right so yeah electronics yeah. always depreciate like I've never like for the most part like ninety nine point nine percent of the time they depreciate but yeah when I looked hers up because uh I went through the website to look at my previous order cost I was like how much does this cost because I like the one I bought which is uh, a little bit slower, was uh, 80 bucks more than the one I bought her. And then when I looked hers mm. up, hers went up 120 bucks. And I was like, oh. Oh, damn. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, there you have it. Yeah. Yeah, I think everything's like in, uh, related to obviously COVID, the, the, the demand, like you guys were saying, and then as well as the, uh, the supply is limited, like the, uh, the chips. And obviously we know what the, the gaming consoles yeah. The uh, Xbox and PS5, those are hard to come by. Then on top of that, the gaming, like the video cards that are very, very popular, the NVIDIA ones that came out last year, September, those are like impossible to come by as well. Those are being scooped up for, uh, you know, I think it's obviously mostly bots, mostly people using it for like, uh, for cryptocurrency and trying to, trying to mine, uh, I guess, crypto. And then uh, also people that, you know, like to hook up their PCs when they get a, get a hold of the card to get the latest and greatest and have like the uh, the most FPS, the highest FPS right. on their on their <laughs> on their uh, gaming PCs. But yeah, I think it's a combination of both. Everything's a lot of electronics, even headsets and things like that um, were actually very popular. Um, I know even with like Microsoft, they had some things where they were uh, uh, hard to keep in supply. Even like the game controllers, game controllers were really like hot. Everybody's trying to get like, you know, home products and, you know, workout equipment and things like that, weights. My wife was trying to get some weights the, uh, a while back and they were like, you know, sold out in a lot of different stores mm-hmm. locally. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's a lot of things that a lot of people are doing things from home and they're trying to get, trying to get everything hooked up. I think it's uh, driving the market. And I, I obviously, I first foresee that kind of selling down as, as things start opening up again, people start going out again and hanging out with people and like, getting outside the house. We're going to be doing more outdoor, outdoor activities. And uh, I think you can kind of see it in the market too. I think a lot of things are getting, people are transitioning from buying a lot of stocks and technology to doing more like buying, uh, uh, I don't know, airplane stock or like uh, buying like movie stocks and things like that where, where these companies are going to start making a comeback as people start using the services again. Right. So that's, that's, my, that's my thought on that. I think it's... Uh, I think we're this is where things are going. Hopefully, things get much better for everybody. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's definitely the, the hope. I I do like chilling at home though. Like yeah, right. Hey, I'm not, I'm not right part. now, but I'm I a homebody. Enjoy, <laughs> yeah, I did enjoy it before I uh, before I came out here. Yeah, uh, for this tour. But um, so let's yeah. transition to uh, what we've been. So I did not know both of you watched Coming to America too. Did both of you watch it? I did watch it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, without spoilers because I, I would hate to tell somebody you can't listen to the next five minutes or six minutes of the podcast or whatever i will give you my impression because I, I can already tell i can already tell one of you who did not enjoy it as much as i did <laughs> i really enjoyed it because my expectation was for it to not be as good as the first because the first will always be a classic that's my childhood i've seen come to america <clears throat> at least 250 times right <laughs> And it just was ahead of its time when it came out. I was expecting for it to be more like you would get back in the day at Blockbuster when you go see like the Cookout 2 or whatever. You know what I mean? Came straight to uh, VHS or DVD. And it exceeded that. And I actually enjoyed it. It was like watching a family reunion. I really did like it. So what about (laughs) y'all? Yeah, which what you, Shannon? I see you got something to say. (laughs) I... uh... So I hear you. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy it. it. It had its spots, right? Where it was laughing and whatnot. Um, there was a lot of fan service. If you had seen the first one, um, I know somebody that watched them both back to back again. Like, I don't have to watch the first one. Like I remember the first one. I'm like you, man, I've seen, I'm not going to say 200 <clears throat> times, but I've seen it a legit, no exaggeration. I've probably seen that movie 50 times. Right. So, um, I even have the I even have the DVD somewhere and it's streaming on uh, Netflix or Amazon. One of them, probably Amazon. I don't know, but 
So I, I, it was not, it was not a straight to video type thing. I'll give you that, right? It wasn't a straight to video type thing, but I think there were some things that probably could have been done a little bit better. Um, and I think it just is that the, 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 the first one, the expectation being as high as it was, like I, I knew it wasn't going to beat it. Like I absolutely knew, right? Like it was one of those things where to me, it was like D'Angelo's last album. I was like, oh, you ain't gonna beat, you ain't gonna beat Voodoo, right? Like that, that, that ain't gonna happen. You know what Not I mean? Possible. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's how I that's how I was, right? Like, so I knew it wasn't gonna do better than that, but it was it had some fan service. Um, they did bring back a lot of characters um that were in the first one. I mean, some of them are no longer with us anymore, right? But right. Um, but it was it was it was good um it was good man i I don't even want to say it was good like that it was it was hey listeners please remember that you can support this podcast directly by becoming members of the show's patreon here you'll be able to listen to the podcast seven days early completely ad free however in these trying times we understand that you may not be able to become a patreon just yet in that case, please listen to the show once it's available on free feeds. Leave us constructive feedback and share with your blurred friends and family. Thank you. I enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll seek it out again anytime soon. I'll say that. Right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna watch it another like I exaggerate 250 times. Let's yeah. say 200. <laughs> All right, it was a lot. <laughs> I've watched this movie right. for 30 years yeah. at least. At least once, I don't know, BT plays it like every every month or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I never not miss it. If I know a song, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. BT. <laughs> oh, man. I say the only thing I didn't like about it. Well, I think it's like, uh, I think it was a, a good, you know, good movie as a, uh, uh, overall, I think it's just that, obviously, you try to compare it to the first one, it's definitely, it's like not there. Uh, it's a fun movie. It's not like, you know, it's it's one of those kind of like, almost describe it like maybe a feel good movie. And like it's a, uh, maybe it even kind of made it for like kids and families. Kind of like almost feel like. Uh, well, it was PG thirteen, right? So like PG thirteen. The first one was rated, R. First one was, rated right. R. It was PG thirteen or PG something like that. It wasn't. Yeah, like, yeah. Right? So they dropped it down a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Made it more family. Yeah, yeah, more family friendly. I feel like, kind of reminds me of like. I don't know, like, uh, what is it? I don't know the name of the movies, but like Ice Cube's movies where you have like the family kind of come together and they're like, you know, you know it's just kind of like are we, a... Are we there yet? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, kind of are we there yet yeah, type thing. Yeah. Um, and I'd say like it had a few ports, parts in that were, were pretty funny, but overall it's like, uh, you know, I'm not going to be watching it over and over again. Um, you know, uh, this may not... Uh, I'd say this is not a spoiler, but uh, I, I wish Samuel Jackson was back in there. I don't think I saw Samuel. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's, I forgot it's about like, that. Yeah, you know, yeah. if you if you watch the first one, which you know Samuel Jackson was was uh, since it's an old as it's an old movie, I'll just say that he was holding up a uh, holding up the uh, McDowell's. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Did they have a flashback to it though? Because I, I remember it vividly, obviously from a from being a kid. But did I see it again in this one. Right. Uh, I, didn't, did I don't think I saw it? anything. I don't think okay. They it. Not that I, I mean, saw. They. they yeah. yeah. They, they had a off kind of reference, but yeah, it wasn't Samuel L. in it. Right, right. Gotcha. Uh, Which is weird because he's in every movie. He's in a movie like every other right. month, right? Like, Samuel, yeah. I don't think he turns down roles. I don't think Samuel right. He no, he said he doesn't. They, you think he doesn't slide him right in there? He said he does not. Wow. Well, he does not what turn he down. Doesn't turn, if oh, he, doesn't turn. If he can fit in the schedule, he said he will always be working. I think it's just part of his his work ethic, as well as uh, he has some addiction issues early on. Mm. Um, I don't know if the two are tied together, but he keeps his hands always busy. Mm. Yeah, he's very he's very successful now. Like, eh? <laughs> eh? right? I mean, like he's not working now. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I think it. You know, it could have been maybe a little bit better, but it's uh, it was okay. It's like a it's a um, you know, I think I feel like it's a movie you can watch with the kids and not worry about them being all kind of like you know, uh, uh, you know being like put off or like some some craziness going on in there but yeah obviously the first one is much better you know if i had to like put on the scale i said like the first one is like you know nine out of ten ten out of ten but the second one maybe it might have been like a it was like a six or seven to me i feel like it was uh it was just okay it's like average i'd say yeah yeah i give it a, a, a solid seven mm-hmm. but 
I mean, that's not that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, definitely it's not. It's, bad. Not, it's not bad. It's not a horror movie. It's not like a bad movie. Like, oh, don't don't you waste your time even looking at it. But it's 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 a good movie. It's a fun movie, and it kind of like it's like nostalgic, and it kind of brings back all the the cast and crew. I was pretty impressed with how many people they got back in it, and uh, you know, some of these people, I was like, oh man, I haven't seen them forever. I didn't know they were still alive. Um, right. Even like Louis Anderson, that's the reason I thought he had passed away a while back. And I was like, "Oh, yeah, he's still alive." Yeah, yeah I, was, <laughs> still I, was alive. Joking, I was joking with uh with my friends. I don't know if you guys can you hear that. Hopefully no, I can't can hear. hear that. I got this thing is. Oh, you got something play? How do I stop it? There we go. So, uh, I was joking with my friends. I was like, they literally put three actors in the movie that everybody thinks are are, are dead at all times. Like, yeah. Like <laughs> they put all yeah. three of them in the same movie. <laughs> right, right. So it, it's definitely like a, a closure. You know what I mean? Like, is there ain't gonna be around for much longer? Right, it's true. There won't be a coming to America three unless they make that joint now. So, right, <laughs> it's true. They're gonna be waiting so no thirty more years to make another. Yeah, another, uh, the third movie. But yeah, I was, I was, I was surprised seeing some of the faces there, and then uh, just throwing it out there. But the the character Baba, I was like, what the heck? Who is this? <laughs> like crazy. I was like, oh my god, I didn't I didn't realize who that was at first. But uh, it's some craziness for sure. They got some, yeah. they're pretty good with their makeup and like you know making people look different from what they originally you know originally are. Right. Yeah. Again, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but they even have extended scenes yeah. from the first movie. I was like, oh okay, they they really went out their way. So I really right. liked it. So I, I, seven and a half. <laughs> Like I, I might, I might watch it again this weekend. Make sure. I'm yeah. Like, see, they already got me. They already got me. Right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'd have to sit down and watch it again. Uh, and I think also, you know, similar to what you guys were saying earlier, that maybe I had expectations, or maybe I just like so focused on the first one, how good it was, and like, you know, and they, uh, you know, really kind of hyped up this one, a lot of advertisement for it and stuff like that. I was like, oh man, come, I gotta watch it now. Dang, it's gotta. Everybody's talking about it, and then I actually had a lot of people on. Facebook and a lot of my friends actually really enjoyed it um, and they were like singing really high praises kind of like you are too Ryan about how much they liked it and uh, maybe I hate myself a, a little bit before I watched it but maybe I'd sit down and watch it again kind of a kind of a uh, like you said a kind of a uh, knowing that it's not gonna be as good as the first one and uh, it's like, it's my expectations not to be as high right right yeah because uh, yeah. any time they redo something like um, not not to, to um switch gears too much but you remember total recall was rebooted and i was like this is this is an okay it's a sci-fi movie but this is not total recall like yeah yeah <laughs> right like you could have called it anything else and i was still watched it and be like oh, okay it's pretty good but you call it total recall i expect total recall greatness you know what i mean mm-hmm. Ar- arnold's eyes bulge on his head right right <laughs> when yeah. he broke the dome you know what i mean yeah like, and, that, and none of that happens so i'm like yeah, can you think of anything that's actually been like a better, like uh, you know, a better movie that they like re- they like they redid the movie, the original movie, and made it better than it was? Like any kind of like I don't know, classic that that's like, damn, yeah. the second one was better than the first. So like, <laughs> I, t- I tell you, it was close. I tell you, it was close only because it was so far ahead of its time. Um, it was, um, oh man, it just fell right out of my head. Uh, Harrison Ford, uh, Blade Runner. Blade, Blade Runner, Runner. 2. I haven't seen that you one. You watched Blade Runner 2? Uh, Not the second one. Blade Runner, the original, holds up so well that Blade Runner 2 is, it doesn't look like, because it's already supposed to be in the future, right? So the mm-hmm. sequel to a movie of a movie that was made to look like it's in the future, uh, yeah. usually they don't hold up very well. It holds up very well. You're like, that is amazing. Like they were way ahead of their time when they made this movie. Um, right. Some people were disappointed. Uh, but again, Harrison Ford is not going to be around for much longer. Uh, not to, not to, not to, to <laughs> not to kill the man, but that movie was like 25 years or 20 something years, like almost 30 years uh, for the sequel to be made. They can't wait another 20 years to do it again. It's just not possible. Is, is, is the second one 2049 or something like that? Blade Runner 2049? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, because there's an anime that bridges the two together. Okay. But most people are like, I'm gonna watch it. Like I watched animate animatrix, right? Like I, I get deep in the lore. But um <laughs> like but it stands by itself. And you're just like, yo, they did a really good job. Um mm-hmm. somehow. But that's just my two cents. Mm-hmm. 
That's kind of like Terminator 2, right? Like Terminator 2 was ahead of his time for 1991 or 1990, yeah, right. whatever it was, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's one of those. It was, it was it was all those movies. Like Alien, like Alien was amazing. Like it still holds up. Like you'll see, like Pr- Prometheus was whack. <laughs> most of the A, like Alien, Aliens, like all those were, were really good. Um, mm-hmm. uh, th- I think they're redoing um, Running Man, the, another Arnold classic. Mm. I'm just like, ah, oh, don't do it. <laughs> right don't do it man it's perfect the way it is like stop messing these movies up demolition man they talking about making a sequel to that oh all wow. those people are still alive that could actually be pretty good yeah. um, well well here's the thing you ain't gonna see simon phoenix again <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. right let's no, do like, no spoilers but he bit it in the first one you know what i mean so like, right Right, unless they clone his like his DNA or something, they make like <laughs> that, a, that's true. They might do something like let's say have to, yeah, they have the power of the future. They can make yeah. anything happen. <laughs> that's true because when they bring them out, you know what I mean. When they unfroze them, like we tell them what they could have done, right? That's, that's yeah. A good point. Are, you yeah. A, they, are you a screenwriter? Yeah, that's uh, hey. <laughs> uh, but if, my movies coming out soon. See, yeah, but if they explain how the shoot, see shows work, then it's, it's ruined. <laughs> right, right. That's the truth. We're still trying to figure that out. People yeah. still trying to think about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, that's the truth yeah yeah it was, it was a pretty quiet weekend though like uh aside from that all i did was i downloaded uh final fantasy 7 uh the original on uh the switch because it was like eight bucks on sale so nice i may never play it but it's an <laughs> option <laughs> right it, right i think it'd be i think it'd be like obviously it's a sony classic right but i think it'd be perfect to play uh mobile so that's mm-hmm. why that's why i bought it yeah yeah i remember they came out with uh they released the same game like i think it might have been like on the android store or like the google store or whatever uh a while back you could play it on your mobile phone like using your even using like a touch screen um i think they did that a little while back but i haven't looked at it but it's a classic game that's a that's a good game to have yeah definitely <clears throat> my voice keeps cracking yeah besides that as far as like for me like this week you know i watched the coming to america and then um uh, I finished off uh, uh, Miles Morales and Spider Man, okay, which go. is really good. I, I actually like the um, the game overall and how the how the game con- concluded. Um, and then, um, like you talked about before, finished off uh, Warrior. I think that was last week. I mentioned that during the podcast. But uh, Warrior, I'm hoping they really bring that back. It's definitely a good series. I think it doesn't give enough uh, praise as much as as good as it is. And I think I've heard that from many other people that. Uh, doesn't get as much limelight as like you know Game of Thrones and all these other shows that are really big with people. Um, even though I think it's at that level, uh, the the quality of the the uh, um, just the production quality as well as the cast members and their acting acting ability is really they really sell their their roles. Um, they're very believable. Um, but that's been my that's been my main my main uh, go tos for the last last week here. And um, yeah, looking for the next next thing I'm going to watch. Looking at my queue, see what's hot. All right, nice. No, what's up? Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, so next week, hopefully, I can let you guys know. There's a Netflix show called The One. Uh, mm-hmm. Just debuted this weekend, I think. This weekend, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up, but uh, it's one of the, it's a sci-fi joint. So if it's anything nice. like any other Netflix show, it's gonna start out real good. Like, oh, man, <laughs> this is great, and then it's just, at the end, it is like drive off a cliff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> every time so, oh no but I'll, I'll let you know I, I'll, I'll squeeze a couple episodes in so we can we can uh, uh, ham it up uh, next right week. on yeah so next week Snyder Cut comes out this week right this week. oh yeah oh yeah it comes out so, on the 18th right yeah I think it's the 18th yeah oh yeah, yeah. Guess, who, like guess who's getting a, uh, a VPN trial on the 17th there you go <laughs> <laughs> That, that this guy. The trial. That's, that's right. What that's what I'm looking forward to. I I don't know if you guys saw saw the article where um Tom and Jerry got replaced by an hour of yeah. uh, the Justice Snyder League. Cut, yeah. See that? yeah, this guy watched it and he was like, "Yeah, it was pretty good." I was like, "Oh, I'm ready now." <laughs> oh, see, I didn't, see, I didn't, I didn't read it because I thought he was going to spoil it. So he just said that he liked it. So he just said he liked it. So it cut off after an hour. So like he was supposed to like. If you go to watch Tom and Jerry and then that comes up, you're like, all right, I'm not watching Tom and Jerry anymore. But he said from what he saw, he was like, it was pretty good. So, mm. oh, okay. Mm. So, yeah. So, uh, you, uh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, Levine, because you're watching the, the Warriors, so you have HBO Max. That's so, right. So yeah, so we can all get it in. Hopefully, it's five hour, it's or four hour movie, but we can all get it in and then not spoil it. <laughs> Just yeah, it's a, say say if we liked it or not. Yeah, it's a long movie. So yeah, so okay, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped about that. Then yeah, that's that's the the goal. So mm-hmm. forget the rest of the week. Just right. Like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> just to just to get, throw it out there too, another advertisement for HBO Max. They got right at the end of the, the month on the thirty first. I think they have the uh, Godzilla versus uh, King Kong. I'm pretty yep. hyped about that too. I think that's gonna be pretty fun, fun to watch. I got I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. Like the last couple of Godzillas, I wasn't too thrilled about, but I've seen a couple of these trailers for this one, and I'm like, man, I'm like, yeah. Right. I was like, this is looking pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At least even for like the action scenes or whatever they throw to go throw together, it should be pretty fun. But I'm um, hoping that's not all of them, right? Like I'm hoping those aren't the only action scenes. Yeah, yeah, them. right. They, yeah, they, they broke that. <laughs> that's that's normally how it is, though. That's probably like the the action scene you see in there, all the big, you know, the finale fight, and then there's like the intro fight or whatever. <laughs> it's gonna be like the only action scenes in the go in the whole movie. But it's you know, it's still be fun to watch. I don't, I don't I'm not expecting it to be like some sort of like award-winning phenomenal like acting performance from everybody but just to see some of the characters come together and like i love you know i love action i love seeing like you know i like the godzillas and king kong fighting um even like this it had some like anime releases uh for some like a godzilla anime thing that came out with a while back which was really good um, i just like that kind of stuff i think it's pretty fun yeah yeah it's so we'll see how a, a popcorn yeah. flick or whatever is what they call yeah, it yeah popcorn popcorn flick. It. yeah something you can just pop in and be like oh, okay we'll see some 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 violent action, you know, some crazy, crazy uh, action stuff going on. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch the 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 last one again. I watched it on the plane. I was really tired. It was the, uh, the ride over here. So when I was flying over here, I watched it and I fell asleep. Mm. So, yeah, like there so was like some kind of barrier or something, and then I I was I just nodded right out. <laughs> well, the, the the tie-in, the tie-in is Kong Skull Island was the last one that ties in. I've never seen it. So Kong Skull mm-hmm. Island. Uh, it's not bad, actually. Samuel L. Jackson, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But uh, yeah, but that one's not bad. But it takes place in the '70s, so it's actually in the past as well, right? Oh, okay. And that one happens because during the Vietnam era, I want to say, because I think they were coming back from Vietnam in it. But but not to spoil it, I mean, even though it's been like a couple years, but um, yeah, Kong Skull Island is kind of the tie-in for this one too, for the the Congress. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I gotta check it out. I, I I don't know why I missed it. It just it's one of those movies that just slipped slipped past. I just never caught it up, caught up to yeah. it. And, um, is that on on HBO Max? Is it owned by Warner? It where did I see it? I think it is HBO Max. I think it okay, is. so it's probably on there then. Yeah, so, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get that thirty days free uh free trial. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I won't I won't say your name in case they ever uh, uh advertise. I see them pop up on other shows all the time. I'll take yeah. your money. So <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps the show. Uh, uh, again, I appreciate you guys' time. I, th- I thought that was a really good conversation. And now we got an objective for next week, so people know. Like we're gonna right. let them know how much we loved or hated uh, Snyder Cut. Um, I'm hoping for good things. I'm not a DC guy, but I've been amped for this for like two years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm like, I want to see it. Um, yeah. So shout, shout out to uh, to my co-hosts. It, this was a, a great week. So it's a lot of good content coming out. Uh, shout out to our patron patrons of our Patreon. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, remember, if you join our Patreon, you'll receive this week's video uh, as well as all the videos uh, at least seven days earlier than the free feeds. Uh, however, if you're uh, a YouTube viewer, uh, watcher, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel where we're going to keep giving you content all week. Uh, hit the, the like button on the content that you like, obviously. Uh, leave us some comments, some, some, some good vibes, um, as well as hit the bell so you can be updated when new content drops, which will be Monday through Friday. Uh, if you are a podcast listener, don't do anything different. You'll just keep continue to receive our episodes, except for they'll be in smaller segments. And then you're actually getting more, because uh, looking at the time, we, we have gone longer than we normally go on episode, but it'll be a more digestible segments for you. Uh, to listen to out throughout the week. Uh, If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe on your platform of choice, share with your friends, uh, and then you'll automatically get our content throughout the week. Uh, If you want to hit us up on socials, the anchor for everything is www.theothersideofthefirewall.com. That's the Twitter, that's the Instagram, that's the the Facebook page and group. 
Uh, then you can hit us up on our personal uh, accounts. You can reach me at RYRY Security Guy. That's Rye Rye Security Guy on both Clubhouse and Twitter. And then Levon. You can hit me up as always, Levon Maynard on Twitter. There it is. There it is. So uh, definitely we're excited to uh, keep producing this content. Please let us know what you think about the new format change and we'll keep it going. So y'all be easy. Yeah, take care, everybody. Hey, listeners, please remember that you can support this podcast directly by becoming members of the show's Patreon. Here, you'll be able to listen to the podcast seven days early, completely ad-free. However, in these trying times, we understand that you may not be able to become a Patreon just yet. In that case, please listen to the show once it's available on free feeds, leave us constructive feedback, and share with your blurred friends and family. Thank you.